These students are on a mission. They're trying to find out just how secure the wireless networks in this neighborhood really are. This area is a bit behind in terms of Wi-Fi networks. They're learning how to hack into systems like this and even how to pirate data. But it's all perfectly legal. After all, hacking is part of their university studies. They're taking computer science in Aachen. We asked Philip Schutz if he ever feels bad about snooping around like this. No, not at all. It's freely available data. Everyone sends their data somewhere. We're just picking up what's coming through. We're not stealing data. We're just catching signals without accessing the data meaning we're not doing anything criminal. We don't know anything about the people who have these networks. And what did the class learn today? We see that some Wi-Fi networks aren't secure enough. Networks secured with web can be cracked pretty easily these days. It takes 60 seconds if you have the right software. Two hours later, Philip and his classmates are back at the university. Now, instead of just finding unsecure Wi-Fi networks, Professor Marco Schuba has given them a new assignment. Their job is getting past the encryption keys that protect those networks. Ten minutes later, the first students have cracked the code, and they're in the system. It's another challenge to figure out how to get by the password and to find other channels to get past the security barriers. That's the most interesting part. And yes, it works. A person might have a very secure password on his Windows computer. And if I send him a virus via email and he opens the email, I'm in, despite the password. <laughs> Professor Schuba's lesson plan includes cracking passwords, learning how to access data, and programming viruses known as Trojan horses. It might not sound above board, but having skills like these actually help their job prospects. These are the people businesses need in their IT departments. They need people who know how to make networks secure, and that means knowing how a network or a computer system can be attacked. Only then would I be in a position to implement the right security measures. And companies are looking for that expertise. This organization sanitizes surgical tools for hospitals. Its data is sent back and forth between seven different servers. Managing director Michel Dersch wants Schuba to inspect the network. A variety of data has to be filed, including who sterilized the tools and quality control notes. That information has to be archived for 30 years. That's how long hospitals have to keep patients' data. So data security is really important to you. This sterilization unit is also computer operated. That's the reason we hired Professor Schuba to check our system. The question is whether our data is safe, or if there's a chance that outside agents could manipulate one of our processes, like this sterilization process. Schuba's first inspection costs 5,000 euros, but he hasn't found much that needs fixing. He says mid-sized companies, in particular, underestimate the risks, and many spend far too little on keeping their networks secure. As a business grows, the priority is keeping things running, and security often plays a secondary role. At many mid-sized companies, the administrator has his hands full and has no time to think about security. That might mean problems at some point. Back at the university, students are learning how to program viruses and computer worms. There's no reason for them to abuse that knowledge. They know there are high-paying jobs waiting for them at a time when cybercrime is on the rise.